Let's understand about type of combustions. You must have noticed that some things burn differently and the others in a different manner. The first one is rapid combustions. So what happens in a rapid combustion is that main factor is heat and light. So the heat and light in case of rapid combustion in large quantities are released in very short span of time. Okay. So what is the example of such a combustion? A large amount of quantities are released in a very short of time. Have you seen the gas burning? Or the cooking stove? So in the gas, basically you have the liquid petroleum gas. In the cooking stove, you have kerosene oil. So the moment you ignite a little bit of a light to it, start burning very quickly and generates a lot of heat. The second one is spontaneous combustion. Now what happens in spontaneous combustion is that certain elements or certain substance they catch fire on their own. You must be wondering what kind of these are. So let's say you had a small container in which certain substance was lying. And one of the examples of such a substance is basically your white phosphorus. So this white phosphorus, if it is lying like this for some period of time, it may catch fire on its own. You don't need to put in any matchstick or anything in it. It will catch fire on its own. So these are substances are called as, or rather this type of a combustion is known as spontaneous combustion. And the last one is extrusion. Well, we all use crackers in Diwali. What happens? They put on a matchstick to it. Okay. They do this. These certain small, small things. And then all of a sudden, there will be large amount of flame coming out. Why or not? So in this case, basically, what happens is that the heat and light are suddenly released. Okay. And there is another thing which happens in this case. Okay. sound which takes place when a cracker burns and then afterwards there is a lot of gas which is released and in presence when a cracker burns all of us have seen that there is a particular smell that happens. So with combustion or the nature of extrusion what happens is that there is a lot of substance which is being extruded from the material and that substance is called as 